Yes, if you have changes, uh, so you have incompatible changes, you need to first pull. Yes, so hopefully that helps you with your uh, pushing, with your handling listeners. There's, uh, Kevin did a video about that. So if you pull from the repository, it will not override your current work. If you're worried, so make sure you uh, commit locally first. Uh, but if you're worried, what you can do is to try to um, uh, to create a copy of your directory or of your uh, so that you always have your original stuff. But yes, pooling will not actually update it. It will try to merge, and then you can decide how you are merging it. And in Android Studio has a quite good merge tool available. Yes. But just make a copy of your folder and make sure that it's cr uh, you can always go, go back. If it's committed, you can go back from the history as well, but uh, you don't necessarily want to do that. And yes, you can see, if you do a merge, you can see from the history, you can go to the log and actually see all the changes and you can just go to the previous mass uh previous version you can see what that version was you can compare this file with uh compare with the local and then you can even transfer your changes of course in this case there's no differences but etc So, there, so there are some code, some ver, ver, ver changes I have here, but yeah, this one, there are some changes, so you can compare it with local, in this case, the current one, but can compare the before with local, we can see the actual changes. So, oh, I actually want to go back to the old version, you just click there and say, I, I want to have that. So the whole point of version control is that you never lose any work. So yes, you can see changes, etc. And remember that in any case, even if Git didn't work, if you submit your stuff properly, that's okay. So you submit it using this the file and then there's export uh, project to zip file. Think in uh, Android Studio, it's slightly different, but uh, 